YouTube and welcome aboard part 11 of the adventures of it's time to fly again with Mark in the USA and Canada in November 2017. What are we going to see in part 11? Well we'll be flying with Delta even more down south to Atlanta and we'll be flying with the McDonnell Douglas MD-88. Now back in 2017 you couldn't think of a Delta flight in or out or Atlanta that's not on an MD-88. Unless it's transatlantic. But now it's a part of history as well. And unfortunate, and the data lost the takeoff and the landing got erased, which I really apologize for. But anyway, I'm going to share what I have. Uh, I do have some MD-88 takeoff and landing footage from a long time before. I'll link some of those. And I have a full trip report on the MD-88 and the MD-90, which I'll link as well. Anyway, nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed the trip report and we'll see each other at the end of the video. Once on board and seated, we'll continue with parents traveling with infants and using car seats and strollers. Your feet. The cushion can be used for location. 
Alright, so this concludes part 11 of the trip from Newark to Atlanta. Once again, I'm very sorry for having lost the takeoff and the landing footage. But uh, nevertheless, I hope you still were happy to see what I still had left over of the memory of the Delta MD-88. Nice plane to fly. Service was well, okay. Do understand. One small galley for a full plane. Yeah, and of course, the aircraft itself was the max to fly with. I mean, if you were in row 34, you didn't need any Seatback TV's thousand channels of entertainment. But if you're not an AV geek, hey, you had internet available as well. Not bad for a 30-year-old plane. So, as I just said, I'll be flying onwards to Del with Delta, um, part number 12. But where? I'm going to give you a hint. Let's see who can guess it. Until then, thank you, and we'll see each other next week. And for the ones of you on, on Instagram, feel free to check out my page. It's called It's Time to Fly Again with Mark. I got it right. Uh, I do actual trip reports at the moment they, have, they happen. And when I'm not flying some other fun aviation content I'll come up with, feel free to check it out. I do recommend it. Thank you.